Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, we are on week nine of our 2020 Halloween projects. And for this one, I combined this Have a Hoot bundle. I'm using one of the images and one of the little dies with the warm wraps dies from the warm hugs bundle. So I hope you enjoy this. It's a cute project and here it is. I love these little cups and I thought it would be great filled with candy or a gift card if you wanted to give it to an adult. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to need about a six by 12 piece of designer paper. And I am using the Gilded Autumn Specialty Paper, this print here with the pumpkins and gourds. And then I'm using the reverse side as well. So six by 12, you should have plenty of paper for what we're going to do. I've used um, some very vanilla to cut a circle die. I use this one from the warm wraps dies, okay? And then I use the brushed metallic paper in gold for this die. And then here's the little fella from the Have a Hoot bundle. And all of those are ready to go in just a minute. So let me get this set aside and then we're going to, going to work on the cup. So here's the cup with the lid. They're awesome. We're gonna start working with it like this. Now I wanted to completely wrap this in designer paper. So what I did is I cut apart one of the cups, okay? I peeled it apart starting right here. I cut up and cut off the top rims and then cut out the bottom so I could open this up and have a template so that I could trace it on the paper. Do this, and yeah, this is gonna be good. So I'm gonna line that up over here and then you can see right here I added one, I said add one half inch, that's so that we can adhere it together. So I'm gonna trace around this on the wrong side, just with a pencil. And then we're going to cut it out and I wanna come up about a half inch, go across, it doesn't have to be straight, you just need a tab there so you can adhere it together on the cut. Okay. So now let's take our paper snips and we're just going to cut out along this line. And I cut on the line. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be a really pretty wrap and you could do this with any of your papers to make, to decorate your cups. All right, now, got that aside, let's get our cup and I'm gonna show you, I'm just going to kinda give it a curl a little bit with my bone folder so it'll go around a little more easily. And I start at the seam and I kinda tuck it up around that edge and go around just to make sure that we've got a good fit, and that's good. Now that little extra half inch is a, allows me to go over the top of the other side to adhere it. So for this, I'm using tear, tear and tape on the wrong side of each end. So I'm just gonna put that here, and then on the other side, Pull that off for the first side and I start over here at the seam. Tuck it there. And I'm gonna go all the way around. And it tucks underneath that rim real nicely. Then let's take off the other side, the other backing. Well, <laughs> And I found that it wasn't really necessary to put any more adhesive than these two strips. Okay, it's gonna lap over there, and there's our wrap. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so now I've already cut the band, and I just cut out these two with 
the little accent pieces that punch out. And so I have these, but I'm gonna use the back side, okay? And so I'm going to put these together like that. I don't know what I was doing. I have recorded so many videos today and I can tell. <laughs> oh, it's time to rest. All right, so now I'm gonna put a little bit of tear and tape here on this tab. Peel that off and you noticed I curled them a bit with the bone folder to kind of train them to go around the cut. And then I'll put tear and tape here. So now let's go ahead and adhere these two ends together. And then we're just gonna slide that up. Super cute. I'm trying to line up the seams together here. So there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and embellish it a bit. So I have these two pieces that I'm going to adhere together. Oops. Okay, that's some Stampin' Seal Plus. Put that over top of that very vanilla. And then I'm going to use this Stampin' Seal Plus again to put this on top of that brush gold. Then I'm going to take my bone folder and give it a curl, the whole three stacked three pieces, okay? And then I'm going to, once again, use tear and tape. All right. Pull that off. And then we're going to call this the front here. And I'm just going to press that down. Give it a good press so it'll stay. And now let's see if I can have room for a little sentiment down here. Let's see. I'm gonna say have a hoot, it's Halloween. So I've got some Cajun Craze ink, crumb cake cardstock. Stamp that. And then we are going to just cut this out. just around it, close to the sentiment itself. And again, we're going to use tear and tape. It's gonna give it a curl. That saves you a lot of trouble later if you go ahead and give it a curl. Okay, let me get this. Then we're gonna put this right down here. Okay, now we can do the closure, which is super simple. I'm gonna put the lid on with the opening toward the back. And it pops on nicely. Where that, once it's on, it snaps and it's not coming open, okay? So I have some of our very vanilla and metallic edge ribbon from the annual catalog. Thought it would be pretty with this gold in here. And so I'm just gonna come up around the sides and try to get these even. And I'm gonna tie a bow. And I'm generous with this. I cut 26 inches of this ribbon. And I try not to adhere it at all so that it can come off easily. Okay, there it is. I hope you enjoyed. Give that a try. These cups are great. I love this bundle. And I think for Halloween, it makes a good, good little treat holder. Of course, you can use it for any occasion. So give it a try. If you have any questions, let me know. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.